Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a Premium Bandai HGUC kit here. This is the High Grade Universal Century Gundam G06 Mudrock. This is a design that I know a lot of people have wanted for a long time. It's a really cool design and Bandai has yet to make any kit version of this, proper kit version of this, until now. And unfortunately, it's going to be another P Bandai kit that is an entirely new kit, not based off anything before, so we've got a Totally full new kit here that is going to be of a limited release, but it does look pretty awesome, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm not one of those in the camp necessarily that's a huge, gigantic Mudrock fan. I do like the design though, but I know there's some people who are just really crazy about it, so I think it's going to make for an awesome kit though, so I'm really looking forward to building this kit up. As always guys, gotta thank USA Gundam Store for their support. If you want to check out their selection of P-Bandai kits or just everything else there on their site, you can save 10% off everything using the coupon code there down in the video description below, so check the link down there as well. Alright, so going around the box, obviously not going to be very much to see as it is just a P-Bandai box. We do have a little blurb over here about the Yannick front. It looks like this would be the PlayStation 2 game that this uh, design originally comes from, so if you've never played that, maybe check that out if you can. And then just going around the rest of the box, like I said, not a whole lot to see there, so we can just go ahead and pop this open. The list price for this came in around 2200 yen, which is uh, a little bit higher on the higher end for an HD kit, but completely, considering it's a completely new HD kit that I don't know if they'll really be able to squeeze any real variations out of this design. It seems like the kind of design that's kind of... They can use it for this, and they can't really use it for too much else, so that's why they kind of have to maybe mark it up a little bit higher. So they're not going to be able to get as much use out of the molds, I, I would guess. I could be wrong about that. If I am, certainly let me know in the comments. But uh, there's our full color, I'm guessing, A runner there. And we've got a couple more bags of some runners. I do like the color scheme for this as well. It's got the kind of typical Gundam color scheme, but the, it's got, the blue is a little bit darker blue. It's got much less red on the design. And so it just makes for a pretty cool take on a Gundam design. So here we have the manual. There's nothing color in here. It's just very simple. And so on the front, we do have the color guide there. It's obviously not in color, but you can see what the colors are. It just gives you them in text form. Those the, there in Japanese and in English. On the back side, we do have our parts list here as well. So you can see it looks like we're going to be using everything, including all the poly caps and everything on this. So it doesn't look like we're going to have anything left over at a glance here. No, 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 no. I don't see any X's on there at all, so maybe nothing left over at all with this kit, which is always nice. So we do also have the options to make either the incomplete or the complete form. I guess the really the only big difference it looks like is just that it doesn't have the extra shoulder armor on there and it doesn't have the extra armor on the legs. So these parts, extra parts, which look like they just give some more verniers, more probably uh, mobility added by adding these parts there on the shoulders and the legs, or you can make the incomplete form if you prefer, or if you bought two of the kit, you can make one of each. But all right, uh, the construction just goes through the body, head, arms, shoulders, feet, legs, legs, and waist, and backpack, and weapons, just got that pretty simple beam rifle and kind of standard curved shield. Those are looking very nice utilizing the weapons there where the stickers are going to be placed around on the kit just the few stickers that we do have We've got those included but let's get a look at the runners then but all right so we do have a couple of foil stickers here as you can see for the eyes you have two different options whether you want to have green or red eyes and a couple of red camera stickers there and then the little yellow v for the crotch part and then we have a couple of marking stickers here as well an efsf logo there and then the kind of six in the triangle very similar to like what the gun of alex has on it so it's got those markings that you can place around on the kit we've got the familiar familiar PC002 polycap runner here in gray with the addition of a couple more parts there on the side. These are usually used for connecting in the hands, for the ball joints for the hands there on the A, the little A addition there. And then runner SB13 for our standard clear pink beam saber effect parts. And then we got a nice big full A runner here in four colors. We got some white across the bottom, yellow across the top, some dark blue over there on the side, and then some black basically there around in the center. The runner B1 here is going to be some of our white parts, including the part for the shield there, but mostly armor around for the Gundam. And then runner B2 as well, which is a copy of this half of the runner over here. Runner C1 here in gray is going to be some of our weapons parts as well as just joint parts, hand parts, some of the detail parts and all of that. We do also have a runner C2 as well for a copy of the top half of the runner there. Runner D here in yellow, and it's a really nice shade of yellow, sort of not too bright, but not too dull. It's a really interesting, yeah, just nice shade of yellow here for this, just for some of the detail parts, including the feet. It's a very unique design to have yellow feet on it. And then we, anyway, we've got two of this D runner. And then finally, runner E here, once again, in the dark navy color for basically the parts for the shoulders and for the lower legs parts there as well. And that's it. So once again, it looks like this kit really would have been a nice addition to the HGUC line, so it's a real shame that it didn't come out as just a standard release kit. Uh, 
yeah, it's just a, I don't know, I'm a kid, I, I, don't, I don't work at Bandai, I can't really explain their, you know, methods, but all we can do is just enjoy the kits or not, so. I'm looking forward to building this up. I think it's going to make for an awesome kit. If you guys want to watch the live stream build of that, just make sure to follow here so you can see when the live stream build is going to take place. And then we'll have the review coming up after that. Thank you guys, as always, for your support. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. And once again, thank you to USA Gundam Store for their support as well. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.